Hey everyone, in today's video, I'll show you the new meta for money making in the Cycle Frontier Season 2. You can easily make 100,000 K marks every 10 to 15 minutes, or even more if you're looking to risk it a little bit. I fully expect this to get nerfed in the future, and I'll keep you up to date with any changes to that in the comments below. The focus of these quick runs is maximizing as much of the new Theris Ore, Pure Theris Ore, and Spine Briar that you can fit in a green backpack. Or if you want to go huge, you can go blue or purple backpack and then hit multiple of these areas that I'm about to show you. The new mining node is called the Teratomorphic Crystal Vein, and that's a huge freaking mouthful, so we're just going to call it the Theris node instead. And this is what it looks like. Noticeable claw markings on the side, on the outside, with a little gold shine to it. There are multiple places with an incredible high density of Theris nodes that aren't too deep below the surface. This means that you can fly right to these spots and quickly make your way out. What makes this even more convenient is that Theris isn't a particularly large island, so getting to your evac location takes little time at all. Now I won't lie to you, it can take a few runs to get familiar with the map, especially the cave systems. It's really easy to get your, your bearings flipped backwards. Um, it's a lot, it's very confusing down there. However, after running the map a few times, you will quickly start to identify major entry points and exit points and things will get more and more comfortable. The main point of interest is the center of the map. If you take a look, you'll find multiple points of interest that have small bridges leading to them like Korolev Quarry, Storm Pillar, and Korolev Core Outpost. On these two islands, you'll find the majority of the Theris Ore, but there is also a great spot east of Osiris Research Center as well, and I'll get into that later. I'll show you a few routes that I've been using. Two of them are easy, easy to get to and leave from, and the third does take you down into the atrium with a little bit more danger, but it has a ton of spine briar, which sells really well down there as well. All right, so first we're going to take a look at the spot that is just to the east of Korolev Docks. So we've come up the hill from our spawn and you're gonna see that big open door and this really wide open space here. We're gonna hug this left wall and go through. We're just gonna bypass everything, make this jump right here. And there's a little doorway on the left that we're gonna take and then we're gonna sneak to the left here. So from here we can make a jump and land right in here and this is the mother load. So this is one of the most dense areas of the Theris Ore and you just want to get on it and start hammering away. You're going to find like seven nodes potentially up to. And this is definitely one of the best spots in the game. You can see all the nodes here already. Now this is in the, we just crossed over into the smaller lower island. It's in the middle and it's to the west of Korolev Quarry. And we're just going to start going for it and you hit all this out and that's it. And you can literally just live off of just this one section if you need to. Now, if it's all gone or whatever, we, you can push in towards the storm pillar area and atrium. But if this is all here, this is your run. It's that simple. You're just going to fly in grab all the nodes and dip. And you can do this in a very, very short amount of time. Now, obviously you can do this from the other side of the map coming in from the east, more near the uh, Coral of Island headquarters and going down that huge ramp. Um, but you can go in or out from any of the directions, hit all this and leave. There's also going to be four focus crystal nodes that are going to be up here on the left as well. And you can use those to obviously just fill out your backpack if you have some space when you're done with this area. But before you do that, make sure you jump down and go to the left over here because you're going to find potential three more nodes. We've got one there on the left and we'll have two more on the left as well. So before you go hit that focus, just know that you have some other options over here also. At this point, if your bags are full, you can dip, you can double back the way you came, or you can continue to go uh, towards the east and kind of follow that inner void line, and you'll see an easy pathway to the evacs on the east side as well. Now, if you're looking for a few more nodes, you can go left here instead of right. Right takes you towards the east shoreline. If you go down this little cranny right here, you're going to see um, the Korolev Core Outpost, and there is going to be a few more nodes here as well. Um, they're kind of a little bit scattered, but along the walls and you can go kind of continue north a little bit. Do beware. There are some elite Jeffs that like to kind of patrol this area. So it's definitely not as easy as the spot we were just in. But as you can see, uh, there are definitely some more node options for you to fill out your bags. But once again, once your bag is full, you're better off just focusing on getting to the evac as fast as you can. Bring it all home, run it back. Um, because the evacs are so close, like I said earlier, to the center of the island, you can get in and out of these spots very, very quickly and just rinse and repeat over and over again and really keep your K marks per hour really high. Okay, so another really, really strong area that you can go to that is just north of the Korolev Quarry where we just were 
is the atrium and this is more just north as you can see on the map there and it's uh, west of the storm pillar and we go down into the cave and down in here we're going to find a lot more of the uh, theris ore nodes as you can see here we've got multiple nodes there and we're also going to find the spine briar which is kind of like a weed that comes out of the ground and you can just pick it up and generally speaking there are lots of them all congregated right next to each other so the danger of going down here though, and this is the most dangerous of the three spots I'm gonna show you, is that you constantly have to deal with elite Jeffs on more than one occasion. So if you're not looking to aggro and kill anything at all, then avoid this section of uh, the guide. But if you have the firepower and you obviously only really need a Manticore to get through all this, um, it might be worth your while, especially if you came in and the area that you just checked was was cleared out by somebody else. So this is a nice alternate way to go in and just see what you can find. Or if you're feeling dangerous, I mean, you can just fly in here with a friggin' backpack if you want to and just start hitting all these uh, spine briars right here. I um, mean, they're all over the place in the ground and you just have to make sure that you're looking down and they, they do kind of pop up right in front of you. So they're really hard to miss. There's also a quest, one of the early quests uh, that'll take you down here from ICA that you have to kind of go here and grab this colonist item um, in the atrium and kill creatures in the atrium. So you're going to find yourself down here. You're going to learn it. Um, it is kind of a maze down here. I won't lie, as always. I mean, this is just, this whole map is kind of made to confuse you, but you will get the hang of it. Now, when you're looking to get out, I mean, the general rule, since you're probably not going to have every single passageway memorized, is to just go up. So look for anywhere where the ramping is going upward, not downward, obviously, and you'll likely come out to one of the access points, in this case, the Korolev outpost. Okay, so the last spot I want to show you is in the northern half of the map, north of Storm Pillar, actually, and not across the void. Um, as you can see on the map there, Osiris Research Center is going to be to your west, and the Osiris Labs will be to your right. And it's kind of right smack dab in the middle, right along the void line. And you're just going to walk into this spot right here. And there is a huge cluster, once again, of Theris ore nodes. And you're just going to clear this entire thing out and dip right away. Once again, similar to the way we did in the first run, you're just going to hit as many ore as you can and leave right away. You're not going to dilly-dally. You're not going to go into the center um, unless you absolutely have to or there was nothing here. And these are the three runs that I've been using to make a crap ton of money. Now, obviously, as more people unlock the map, it's going to get more and more congested and the nodes will probably be less and less frequent. But still, you are looking at a huge net profit for a very short amount of time. I really hope this video helped you out. Uh, best of luck on all of your Theris Island raids going forward. And if you're looking to find a way back for some more Cycle Frontier content, then make sure to drop a sub and I'll catch you in the next one.